Hey kiddos, welcome back to my channel. So definitely weird location. Um, I was editing my video and then I forgot that I had asked on Instagram Stop. for people to ask me questions so that I could answer them on my YouTube channel. And I've never done a Q&A or anything. I got some nice questions and I'm gonna go through them, okay? All right. Have you always been so confident? If not, what helped you gain that confidence? So, no, I'm still obviously not 100%. I feel like a lot of people aren't 100% and that's fine. Like I said, I've always said it's like a journey to self-discovery, self-love. It sounds corny as hell, I know, but it's true. I don't think I had a huge problem growing up because to be honest, I didn't care so much back then. I feel as you grow up like into your teens and then you know after high school you're like more into body image and what you look like every day. For me in high school I wasn't aware like dressed horribly. I know that much. Like I was not a fashion icon. Okay, let's get that out of the way. I also didn't care so much about what guys thought of me. I was just very into hanging out with friends. I'm sorry if this is distracting, but just kept getting stuck in like I wasn't huge, I wasn't skinny, I was just kind of like in between so I, it felt really awkward sometimes. I'm bigger than most of my friends too and it just I just felt kind of like that awkward like Aww. it's also like an everyday thing where it's not like you just wake up and you just have all this confidence like sometimes I feel great sometimes I'm like oh like I wish you know I you know worked out more I wish I ate healthier I, it just all depends on how you're feeling that day and it varies sometimes I feel bomb I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm like damn I'm fine as hell I can be wearing just you know I'm wearing sports riding leggings I feel great but some days I just don't even want to get out of bed and I'm just like yeah I just I want to eat Cheetos all day take it day by day and try to build it day by day little by little it becomes you know you just reinforce that confidence that you found the day before and then you kind of just build on from there when you are feeling really cute and when you are feeling super confident that day and you're like dang like this outfit is popping take a picture and remember that Samantha wanted to know my workout regime I don't have one honey I follow so many fitness pages that are supposed to get me going like I still exercise daily I'm a pet sitter so I walk dogs all the time I just I get in my cardio every day and I walk my dog like I make her run all the time I run with her sometimes but it's kind of just built in my life I'm not a gym person I'm just not I went through a stage where well, I was getting over like a big breakup and I just went to the gym all the time that's probably the best I looked and then you know gain some weight <laughs> but that happens so weight fluctuates don't worry if you're getting some weight if you want to go to the gym go to the gym but I would always lift weights if I did go to the gym I always lift weight I mean unless you want to be super lean and no muscle then hey do you but I would like you know some muscle definition which I have zero at the moment and then she wants a clothing haul I have a few clothing hauls so you can go check them out and what I was wearing on this um, exact picture it's H&M boots Zara jeans and a Zara top if I'm not mistaken actually no I'm sorry that's a turtleneck from Forever 21 and my backpack is from Urban Outfitters <laughs> My friend Greta asked me my favorite place to travel. New York City. That's literally my favorite. Fa like, I love Chile. That's my home. That's my country. Yes. Usually I'm just like there with my family at home eating. Because that's what I do best. I just eat. Would you ever become a stylist or something like that? Because your style is amazing. Thank you. I don't. I'm such a simple type of person i always wear sneakers i love sneakers and then my boots the black boots that i wear all the time people ask me about all the time i call them the death boots because they're chunky and like platformy and huge they're just they're big chunky and i love them because they're so comfortable like i just walk in them all the time that's like my everyday shoe i don't know if i could do well doing that i feel like my style is very simple Ooh, what is that i feel like my style is too simple to like style someone like they'd be like this is so boring because i love like i wear all black almost every day if i could if i just had black everything i would be completely happy i have a uniform at an actual uniform all my friends tease me for it like they they're like oh what are you gonna wear tonight i turn on like a high-waisted jeans Yes, because that's literally all I wear. Turtlenecks are like 
my staple. And then high-waisted jeans, of course, because low-rise jeans don't look good on my body shape. What else am I supposed to wear, okay? Can I have your confidence? Because damn, you look good. <laughs> Thank you. Where are you from? In the US, I live in Maryland, soon to be California. I was born in Chile. How tall are you? I am 5'6". See, I know my mom is 5'7", and I'm now just as tall as her. So I may be 5'7 now, but I'm definitely, like I've always been 5'6". So I'm just gonna say 5'6". These are good questions. What do you aspire to be in life? I feel like everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, you wanna be happy or whatever. I want to be successful in whatever I choose to do. I want to be able to support my family in my fa my future family. I obviously want to be happy, but I feel like that's such a generic answer. I want, I, I like that I'm an inspiration to others and I want to continue that. There's, you guys are so nice. <laughs> Thank you. So yes, I would love to continue doing this for as long as I can, for as long as, you know, Instagram and YouTube are popping. Right or left-handed? I'm left-handed. That's not my left hand. <laughs> I'm left-handed. It's kind of unfortunate because when I was a kid, they were trying to make me write with my right hand. And I was like, this don't feel right, honey. So I'm gonna switch it over. They would lay out pens and then, you know, paper and see which hand I would use to pick up the pen. And I would always choose my left because that was natural. So obviously I had to get used to doing things with my right hand. And then when you write, you smudge everything. And I had to learn how to like position my hand correctly so that I wouldn't smudge. When's your birthday? My birthday is April 29. Who's your biggest fashion icon? And why aren't we friends? We both love Ashley Graham and doggies and food. Hello. Oh, well, yeah, we're friends now. Hey, bitch. My biggest fashion icon. Are we talking like celebrity wise? Because celebrity wise, I would say Rihanna. <laughs> Hello, like in the YouTuber realm, because I watch YouTube all the time. Like I don't, I don't watch TV like that. So for YouTube, Colleen Diaz is so pretty. Natalie Kavari, I love her. I just love her overall. Like I love her makeup looks and I love her fashion sense. Yeah, those are like the people I follow for like info. Okay, this one's in Spanish, so I'm going to translate. She's basically asking me how I maintain my body weight and how to like be healthy and stuff. She wants to be healthy but also maintain her curves, which we all obviously struggle with because once you lose weight, your butt's gone and you're like, okay, what the heck? Like, <laughs> it was looking nice down there and now it's all gone. You just need to know that whenever you lose weight, you're gonna lose weight everywhere. Like, you cannot target one specific body part to lose weight and then keep the rest. That's why there's like a completely stupid body expectation for girls because you see obviously on the internet everywhere these girls have flat stomachs, literally flat, and their butts are huge. It makes zero sense because you know that they've had surgery. And yes, power to you, okay? There's people that don't know that and then they think that they can they can achieve that by literally just doing crunches and then they appear with a flat tummy like no that's not gonna happen so if you lose weight you're gonna lose weight everywhere and it also just has to do with genetics somehow i wasn't blessed with the boobs but my sister was blessed with the boobs the last time i weighed myself i think i was 160 try to eat your meals earlier than you would me and my family we eat dinner late as hell like my dinner is at like nine o'clock and that's not normal and it's not good for your body i don't drink anything other than water eat smart eat things that will be good to your body and that you know are good for your body because you know damn well them pop tarts over there that are staring at you are not good for you kisses from the u.s and from chile because you're from Peru. My friend Kayla said, do you remember when we had a photo shoot featuring mini water bottles in Aqua Middle School style? Because I do, yes. And I was actually stalking my own Facebook and yes, that happens, I stalk my own Facebook. And I saw those pictures and I was like, what the hell are we doing? I just don't even, trying to be artsy and everything, no. Oh, I don't think I did this one. 
Why are you so perfect? And number two, how did you learn to embrace your body shape? Because your girl could use some guidance. So, Alexa! All right, thank you. Thank you so much for your comment. Like I said before in the video, oh my God, this is a 30 minutes long. Wow, I got some editing to do. How did you learn to embrace your body shape? It took me a while because your girl was not the cutest, okay? I was such a late bloomer. I mean, that's cool with me. I'm fine with it. I'm, co I'm cool, all right? I'm cool. So I have an older sister and she, when she was about 16, actually even before then, probably like 14, she was going through her little emo stage, like rebellious. Oh my God, punk rock. And of course, me being the little sister that I was, I wanted to be just like her. So I went through the same stage stage and I feel like everyone does. I used to wear like ugly acid wash low rise jeans and like my hair was pink. <laughs> Don't ask, okay? I just started dressing really just not cute. Like I was just not cute. Why would they let me dress like this? Anyway, but everyone just goes through that awkward stage. I didn't think I had a big butt, but my family kept telling me I had like a nice little tush. And I was like, okay, I don't really see it, but whatever. Skinny jeans started to become a thing. Oh, not in high school, but that was more middle school. And I started wearing those. And then that, I realized that those made me look really, really short and stubby. And I was like, why do I look like this? And it's because they were low rise honey. If you have hips, the thing that will accentuate that the most will be high-waisted or high-rise jeans because they cinch up the waist. Therefore, it just helps you. Honestly, only last year where I was fully like, wow, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna be this sassy bitch and I'm probably, you know, maybe a lot of people won't like me because of it and I'm gonna be extra obnoxious and extra confident because nobody else is gonna do it for me. Nobody else is gonna be like, damn, bitch, you look good. Yes, you have your friends, but your friends also have their own problems to worry about, okay? So you need to look in that damn mirror and you're like, damn, I'm fine as hell. So one day I would just be on Instagram and I would be upset because I was like, I don't see any girls with my body shape and still not really knowing what the hell you know but i was obviously you know a little bit bigger built a little bit a little, a little chubby there i was shocked and then miss iskra over here putting her booty out there i was like oh my god what more people like me exist and then from her i went to ashley graham yeah after seeing those posts on instagram i was like okay I can work with this. But you have to be careful with who you're spending time with because their energy feeds into yours and then it's just like this whole thing. So so I guess that's it. If you could be any vegetable in the world, which one would it be? I would choose an artichoke because I have many layers to myself. Wow, that's so corny. <laughs> no, I would choose an onion because I wanna make everyone cry. This video is actually 40 minutes long and I'm gonna really have to cut this down because ain't nobody listening to me for 40 minutes. No. So please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel because you should. Let me know if you guys want more advice videos or more question videos like big sister sit down type videos because they're actually very enjoyable and I'm a chatterbox so that's not a problem for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the people that commented and sent me questions. You guys are so sweet. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or a wonderful night. Oh, I know you're watching this and I'll see you in my next one.